Good morning. Good morning everyone. It's Jacob here. Welcome to my marathon prep video series. It is exactly seven days until I've run my very first marathon. Running a marathon has been a challenge that I've always wanted to do, um, but I've never actually done it. I've never specifically run <coughs> 42 kilometres I believe it is, 26 point something miles, 26.1 miles, 26.2 miles, something crazy like that. Um, but today's the day. Today marks seven days until we do it. Seven days until D-Day. It's November the 14th. It is 7.20 in the morning. I've done something that has motivated me um, even more than I was before, which is buy a brand new pair of shoes, brand new pair of running shoes, which is something I've known that I've needed for a while. Um, I've been doing a little bit more running than usual in 2020 um, due to the fact that I did a bodybuilding prep. I did two bodybuilding shows this year, um, the final one being about three weeks ago. So one of the major challenges that I wanted to give myself post bodybuilding show was to do a long distance running race. And I was able to find a marathon that was being held in a place called Queenstown, um, which is in the South Island. I'm in Christchurch, Queenstown is about six hours south so in six days time I will be driving down, I'll be staying down there for a couple of days and doing my very first marathon. So guys, uh, this is the video series. Um, the way that I do things on my YouTube channel is I will, you know, do whatever interests me and I will bring my camera along to document the journey, to talk about my experiences, my opinions, um, and that's how I roll on this channel. You know, you never know exactly what you're going to find. But one thing I do know myself is that I love a challenge and that's what this is going to be. So it starts today. We're only seven days out guys. I haven't given myself, uh, I haven't given myself much time to get things ready. But like I said, I've, I've, I've gone and got the shoes. Um, I'm going to charge my headphones. I'm going to make a specific running Spotify playlist. So I'm not fumbling with my phone every five minutes trying to change a song. I think that's going to be key. And um, I'm going to set off on a, a 20 kilometer run this morning. So that's going to be seven days out. That's going to be my prep um, for today. It's going to be 20 kilometers. I'm going to go out at a, a pretty steady pace. Nothing too crazy because I do want to finish it. And um, I think we're just going to taper it down from here. But I do need to test myself. I need to test myself with a, a long distance run um, before we, before we you know, get to the D-Day. Because to be fair, I only entered this a week ago and I haven't done any prep. I haven't done any running in the last month. I did prior to that, but as you'll know, you know, with jogging and, and running, especially especially a, a running pace that you might have got yourself up to, which I did, I pretty much got myself to about five minutes per kilometer. Um, but I feel like I definitely would have regressed um, in some way, shape or form. So today, the goal is, to complete 20 kilometers in two hours or less. That's going to require me to run at a six minute per kilometer pace, which I think I should be able to start at that, but for me to continue it for 20 kilometers may be quite difficult. But this is about challenging ourselves, and today is day number one. So guys, welcome to the series. The way that I'm going to structure this is I'm going to come out here in the morning, each morning, talk about how I'm feeling, talk about what the plan is for the day, and then post training or post run, we'll come back, I'll have a look at my Strava, and we'll discuss how it went. Seven days out from my very first marathon, guys. <laughs> I'm excited, I am excited. I, 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 I firmly believe that with my mindset, you know, with the way that I tackle challenges, I could turn up on the day having not done any training and still complete it, but that would not be ideal. So I'm starting this series today, to keep myself accountable, to make sure that I do, you know, train myself um, towards the show for the final week. Most, most, I feel like most people when training for a marathon start about six months out. I'm starting a week out, but if you've known me for any length of time, you'll know that sometimes that's just the way I roll. And with that being said, I'll see you guys after my two hour run, which I'm slightly apprehensive about because I haven't done it for so long. 
but the thing is, and this is the advice that I give to anybody, and this is what I'll finish on, all you need to do is keep those feet turning over. That's all you need to do. Slow down as much as you need to. Just keep those feet turning over. And that's the main thing. So I'll see you guys later on in the day. Peace. Okay, what's up? Guys, we're back. We're back from the run. And I can happily say it was completed. We did 20 kilometers in under two hours. That was the goal and we, we smashed it. So I have to say it was a great start to the day. I headed out onto the road at 7.30 in the morning. I got back about 9.30. Uh, I did an hour's worth of YouTube um, videos before I went out for the run. So honestly, this morning has been fucking fantastic. Couldn't have gone better. But I am going to uh, quickly sit down and run through the numbers. So I'm going to run through exactly what the splits were each kilometer. Um, and then I'm going to give you my, my Strava details. So if you do want to follow me on Strava, uh, you can do that too. So I'm just going to grab a drink, we're going to sit down and discuss how this run went and what three factors I included in this run that I haven't done previously that I honestly feel really gave me an edge um, to push probably a little bit harder than I have done previously. So with that being said, let's sit down. Okay, here we are. All right, so we are seven days out, like I said. The time now is 11.40, November the 14th. The date of the marathon is Saturday, November the 21st, and it's down in a place called Queenstown. Beautiful place, like I said, six hours south from Christchurch. Uh, I can't wait, but um, honestly guys, this morning I did not know what to expect. I'm not going to lie, I did do a 10 kilometer slow jog four days ago. I had three days off completely this morning. At seven days out, I knew I was going to create this video, and so you know it was it was time to push myself, time to test myself. You know I'm not going to turn up on race day and expect to just roll out of bed and and, and run 42 k's. Um, I probably could, but I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm just not going to put myself in that position. So today was was the start of a little taper to the 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 race, as far as um, you know, just just getting my pace and uh, knowing what pace I can actually continue at and uh, I guess not not gas myself out and I think today was was successful in that yeah. I think um, after that 20k run I didn't stop the whole entire time I was able to you know maintain a heart rate of about 150 beats per minute the whole entire time so what that's led me to believe is that I've found basically my my pace my comfortable pace that I'm going to be able to maintain at least for 20ks like I did today and hopefully, you know, continue that on race day and maintain that for the full 42Ks. So, I am so proud and so happy to say that I actually ran a PB for 20Ks. So, I ran 20.02 kilometers in one hour, 51 minutes and 19 seconds, which is a PB for 20Ks. Um, I also got my 10 mile PB which is uh, one, uh, 1 hour 28 minutes and 14 seconds. And I also got my 15 kilometer PB, which is uh, 1 hour and 22 minutes flat. So as far as the splits go, I am going to put the splits up on the screen right now so you can look through them as I discuss them. But basically, I began the, the race, like I mentioned before I went, just ticking my feet over, just going out a nice and easy pace, I know that I can run at six and a half minutes per K and not be out of breath whatsoever. So I did that. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a relatively easy way to get into it. It's, it's not scary. You're not going out there and, and you're jacking your heart rate right up instantly. And then, you know, in recovery mode from there on out. So I, I went out really, really easily and I went six minutes 25 for the first K. From there, I said to myself, right, I'm going to go, I'm going to try and get under two hours for the 20Ks. And what that's going to require me to do, like I mentioned before I set off, is run each K under six minutes. And that's exactly what happened from then on out. So we went 625, 558, 544, 539, 544, 526, 534, 539, 517, and so on and so forth. And in the end, I averaged 534 per kilometer. So I completed 20 kilometers today, guys, at an average pace of 534 per K, which is a, a an astounding success. I mean, 
I feel good after that. I feel really good. 20 kilometers without stopping, under six minutes per K. If I can double that, if I can double that, I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting to be able to double that because, you know, my, my legs, well, my calves are sore, not so much my quads or anything, but my calves are certainly um, sore right now. So I'm going to have to keep stretching those out. Uh, but, you know, I tend to think that I probably could double that on a good day, which means that I'm, you know, fairly close to a four hour marathon, um, which is a huge, huge goal of mine. I honestly never thought I'd be capable of running a marathon in under four hours. And actually thinking about it right now, I still don't believe that that's possible. I feel like I'm definitely going to hit a wall. I feel like I didn't quite hit a wall today because that 20k mark, about that two hour mark of exercise, you know, um, I feel like you can, you know, push through without needing to take in extra carbohydrates or water. And that's one thing I will mention that this morning all I had is a cup of coffee, I had a glass of water and then I set out for my run. I didn't do anything else, I didn't eat, and I did not take in any consumable uh, carbohydrates or liquid throughout the run. So I knew that I wanted to get out there on the road, you know, with, with no drink bottle in my hand, no, you know, no shit for me to worry about other than just trying to get these 20Ks done. And so the three factors that I included in this run to help me push through mentally definitely helped, um, that I haven't done previously is number one, I got a new pair of shoes. So I'm going to show you guys the new shoes next next video tomorrow morning. Uh, they are awesome. I am absolutely stoked with them. Uh, they're new balance. I'll show you them next time, but they felt good. So new shoes, definitely a motivating factor, right? You get anyone a new pair of runners and they're going to want to go out and test them. So new pair of shoes. Not only that, but I put on a playlist, a specific running playlist. So every time I go out for a run, I'll always just press play on Spotify on my liked songs. Now some I like more than others, right? So specifically today, I made a playlist for running with my favorite songs, which meant that I didn't need to change songs at all. So you're literally just going and going and going and, and K after K after K uh, seem to just you know, happen. It just seems that, you, you know, you just keep running without without anything distracting you because I will say that every single time I need to stop and change a song, it's not as if I'm stopping running, but it is stopping your flow, your mental flow. And in a long distance run, in those middle Ks, you just want to be in a flow. You want to be in a zone where you're just going and going and going and not really thinking about it. And that's the zone that I found myself in today. So new shoes, a specific playlist, and the third thing. Nick Minute. And the third thing was being adequately fueled, right? So yesterday I specifically carved up. I probably ate a good seven, eight hundred grams of carbs yesterday. Which, you know, I would not have been able to do this run last night because my stomach was relatively full and I felt quite fucking, quite bloated, heavy, you know what I mean? But I had a plan in place. And that plan was to fuel me for this run this morning so that I didn't need to have any breakfast. I didn't really need to take in any water and I would be sweet to go. And that's exactly what happened. So new shoes, playlists specifically for running and uh, adequately fueled. And lo and behold, I got a PB for my 20K run this morning. Seven days out from my very first marathon. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I assume I'm going to bring out a video every single day leading into the marathon. I will be leaving Christchurch on Friday, so that'll be um, one day out, staying in Queenstown that night, waking up early Saturday morning and heading out to the start line. So guys, follow along at home if you like. If you do want to follow me on, on Strava, I believe my username is Jacob McDonald. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But if you, yeah, if you look me up on, on Strava, it's uh, Jacob McDonald. And um, please, if you follow me, I'll follow you. I'll give you kudos. I mean, Strava is a fantastic app. I do want more people on there. I want more friends that I can I can then support back. You know what I mean? Uh, Strava is an, an amazing app. It's uh, it's it's an app that I've been using for about six months now, consistently. I was running, then I was doing walks, and now I'm obviously back to running. If you want to like this video, please do. If you want to subscribe. That would be amazing, and I'll see you tomorrow at six days out from my very first marathon.
I'm going for four hours. I'm going to say it right now. A success, a massive success, something that I'll be so proud of would be to run a marathon, run this marathon in under four hours. That is the goal. I'm going to do whatever I can over the next week to prepare myself for that. And then it's race day. See you soon, guys. Thanks for watching.